Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, War Thunder. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah. I saw some people comment on my video recently completely dismissing the IS-6 just because heat FS and ATGMs exist. I've seen this kind of talk before, not just on my own channel, but pretty much anywhere people are talking about War Thunder. If you ask someone what they think of a certain tank at a high-ish battle rating, the subject always comes up about sheet FS and ATGMs that ruin the game because they're just so overpowered. I don't understand the fixation with getting high up in the battle rating and completely dismissing a tank just because heat FS and ATGMs simply exist. By this logic, all tanks are not worth playing simply because there are other tanks that can kill you. That's kind of the point of the game, you know. Nobody wants to play against a tank that can't be killed. War Thunder is a video game with balance. It needs balance. It's not perfect. It should probably be changed, but the groundwork is there. I understand that some people believe that tanks from different time periods shouldn't be fighting each other because it's unfair. I disagree with that. Tanks should be fighting each other if they have comparable stats. The three main factors used to balance tanks are firepower, protection, and mobility. Of course, there are other things to consider, but these are the three big categories. Some tanks are very balanced. Most other tanks will sacrifice certain factors to have other superior abilities. Tank destroyers have more firepower by sacrificing sacrificing mobility or protection. Light tanks sacrifice protection or firepower for greater mobility. Medium tanks are more well-rounded, trying to have good everything without making too many compromises. Anti-air tanks suck. <laughs> But what about tanks that were built to have the most protection? Sacrificing mobility and firepower. Why would you even play them if you're gonna face off against silly little ATGM mobiles that can just one-shot you? Negating all the sacrifices that tank design made in order to have the best protection possible. Was it all for nothing? Are these tanks useless? No, of course not. That wouldn't make any sense in terms of balance. But heat FS and ATGMs create a new problem for tank balance. Heat FS and ATGMs are clearly superior ammunition that can kill just about anything. They only begin to show up at higher battery ratings because they can do so much damage. But where does the balance come in? Most early heat FS and ATGMs are found on silly little tanks with the sole purpose of either heat FS or ATGM delivery. The Weasel, the Rattel, the Scorpion, the AML-90, the M113, the M901, the IT-1, or the Rakuten Jagdpanzer. All of these tanks have little to no armor. They can kill anything, but if someone hits them, they lose. It's a certain playstyle that has its strengths and weaknesses, like all tanks do. Not every vehicle that has heat FS and ATGMs are lightly armored meme machines with just one gimmick that puts them at higher battle ratings. What about the other tanks that have the good rounds and the good everything else? The Centurions, the M60s, the Leopards. If the strengths and weaknesses trend higher than other tanks, they should be at a higher battle rate. The Leopards and Centurions have horrible armor, but fantastic firepower. The same can be said about the 76 Shermans. Great firepower, poor survivability. But overall, the Sherman is worse and should be put at a lower battle rate. Remember when HitFS sucked? It's when you're the one using it. Pen is nice to have, but at what cost? It is extraordinarily difficult to one-shot with the heat FS, and sometimes it just doesn't work because heat FS sucks. It's only when you play something with the mindset that you're invincible do you realize that, oh man, heat FS is broken, guys. No, it's not! Well, it's really good at earlier battle ratings. Is it? Is it really? Heat FS is super unreliable in my experience. I have all the American tanks, so I know what they're like. It's pretty painful having to main the Heat FS. Bad velocity, horrible post pen damage, and sometimes it just explodes and does nothing. Heat FS really only works the best against light tanks because you don't have to aim. Just hit anywhere and overpressure will handle the rest. Anything else, you have to aim for certain spots that you want disabled, and even then, it's not guaranteed. My point isn't that Heat FS and ATGM suck, and because they take more skill to use, you shouldn't get mad. My point is that nothing in War Thunder is truly invincible, and nothing should be. Many tanks cannot destroy the IS-6 from the front, and that is the ability that the IS-6 has earned from the sacrifices its design had to make. But that ability can only go so far in the name of balance. The thing that's crazy to me is that not every tank in the 7.0 bracket has heat FS, ATGMs, or APDS. Those are not the only ammunition types to worry about. Let's go through a few games with the IS-6 and see just exactly what tanks have what? Game 1, Eastern Europe. First guy is a T92 with APDS and heat FS. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Second guy is an AVRE who can't elevate his gun fast enough. He has Hesh, but he also has APHABC. Next guy is in an AML90. Oh no, he has heat FS! And he's gone. The next guy is in 26A1 who got me with. 
APCBC, oh, it's not fair. Oh, APCBC is so broken, you guys. Game two, Sun City. First up is an M41A1 with the menacing discarding Sabo, and he's gone. Next up is the T25, all he's got is APCBC and maybe APCR, it's not even fair. He's out of here. Next up, T92. We've seen this before and it looks like history repeats itself. ELC Biss flanks me with heat FS, so unfair, but I die to... APCR? Game 3, Berlin. Here we have a Super Pershing that I can't quite get, and I'm gone. He got me with APC BC, respect. Game 4, IKV91, with Heat FS, is politely shown back to the hangar. CBD misses a shot on me, he has heat and ATGMs. ATGM gets detonated on a brick wall and misses me. Amex 13 shoots my cannon barrel with solid shot. Teammate saves me, but the ZBD gets me in the end with oh, heat. It's so unfair, you guys. Heat FS and ATGMs are so broken. Oh no! These aren't even cherry picked games. I booted up War Thunder and it took me four games to get killed by heat. And it wasn't even the Finn stabilized stuff. If the IS-6 was moved down away from HeatFS and ATGMs, then it would be incredibly overpowered. Several people have also said that they only like to play the IS-6 when it's a full down tier because it becomes even more invincible. The sacrifices that the IS-6 design accepted make sense then, but there should be counters. Why have ATGM mobiles if you only kill super weak stuff? Why have HeatFS on the M48 if all you're shooting really only needs the APCBC shot? There are different types of tanks for a reason. Some tanks are better in some areas while other tanks are better than other areas. Heavy tanks should be able to bounce enemy tank shells and they should also be able to be destroyed. But the rate at which both of these circumstances occur should be just about equal. If you're playing your heavily armored tank and you are expecting to never die, to never have a challenge, you have poor expectations. This is a game. Challenge is what makes a game fun. If you spot a tank that has heat FS or ATGMs or discarding Sabo, then you panic. There is a conflict. There is a threat. There is a challenge. If you were killed by someone using one of these ammo types, then you've been bested. You have lost. And the next time you play, you would do something a little differently. If you are playing around a BR where heat FS and ATGMs exist, you should know they exist. And you should know that you don't want to get shot by them or anything else for that. That matter. Some tanks have heat FS and if they shoot you, what are you supposed to say? If he didn't have heat FS, I wouldn't have survived? How about if you didn't get shot, you wouldn't have f***ing died? If you say that you've died to heat FS, that's just bad phrasing. Heat FS did nothing to you. You died because another player shot you. You lost. Get better. Bye bye. <laughs>